Herkese merhaba arkadaşlar. Dying Light devam ediyoruz. Orada büyük yayındayız. Evet. Can you believe just yes? You think she needs help? Teresa, why? Looking to earn some cash? Well, that's not why I... You're a pilgrim, aren't you? You guys don't do anything for free. How much they fork over for the water? She'll be near a shop. Yeah, thanks for the tip. Have I already thanked you for, for the water? I hear you were robbed. But my best friend, no less. I'm devastated, really. And why on earth would you jump to that conclusion about your best friend? I didn't want to. But who else could it be? She was storing it for me to keep it safe, she said. And now it's conveniently gone. Me and my boy are left with nothing. If only she'd admit it and return the flower, I'd forgive her, I swear I would. Lord is my witness, if she's in trouble, I'll help her. But she's a stubborn one. We've had quite a harvest too. Wouldn't have had us living on Easy Street, but now, now we'll starve. Do you have any proof that Anna did this? Not exactly, but was in her shed, wasn't it? In here, I thought she was doing me a favor offering to store it. Turns out, she was just making it easier for her to screw over me and my boy. <sighs> Talk to her, would you? She won't listen to me. Maybe a stranger could get around her stubbornness. We can put this behind us if she gives it back. And if she stole it because she was hungry, she can keep what she needs. Her shed's near the water tower. Please, go talk to her. I'll think about it. A friend in need is a friend in deep. Circumstance. Always knew it. Hey, Anna? <laughs> Anna? No, no, no. I just want to talk. Go away! Good boss, on. I've never believed the night runners. Just fairy tales, if you ask. Burned to ash and scattered on the street with the rest of my family. Talk to me and I'll go away. It won't take long. Look, I know Teresa sent you. Fuck her and fuck you. I haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade of the center. I got killed and now. Jump to the right. I 
Gotta remember and they the say pilgrims are thieves We're and swindlers. Like Looks like this one is different. Might be others too. Anyone who told me about her husband's cousin getting pneumonia. He was traveling with a bird and got lost. And he just happened upon a pilgrim. The guy got the medication and then stayed with him for a week until he got there. Looked after him like a father would. And afterwards, the pilgrim was trying to get a penny from Annie's pocket. He just went on his way. So to you. Not all the bad stories are true. What the hell is going on in the central loop? Since PK's restricted access. Some say the renegades are about to attack. But it's hard. And they say pilgrims are thieves and swindlers. This, you know, this pilgrim should be declared a saint. He was traveling feverish and got lost. I hear she's seeing a piece. Okay, let's go on a foot. Live above the antique shop on Horseshoe. They were like 80 years old. They were still in love. Cousin, like, you should be jumping on. No, he loved you. You were locked. You know, this used to be a bell tower in the Middle Ages. <sighs>
Aynaya ulaşmanın bir yolu yok. Damn soldiers took my brother's life during the March massacre 12 years ago. I'm never trusting him ever again. What are you up to these days, <laughs> Remember, Pilgrim, you're not what happened to you. You're what you choose to become. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh god, we're all wrong here. You know, this used to be a bell tower in the Middle Ages. Wonder what happened to the bells. Please, talk. I'd like to help. Help what? Remind me I'm a widow? Or, or, or that I'm dirt poor? Or a heinous flower thief? I'm not making assumptions. I just want to hear your story. I want to hear the truth. The truth? You want the truth? Here's the truth. I would never rob a friend. Never. And that's the end of my story. Did Teresa tell you about the half year's wages she owes me? I needed Teresa to sell that flower so she could pay me. Why would I risk everything? My well-being, Teresa, and her sons, by stealing it. I thought you were best friends. So did I. Until today. Since the fall, we've been close. I lost my child. She lost her husband. I... I became very depressed, suicidal. Teresa got me through it. She even cooked for me and my husband, who drank heavily. I can't believe she'd accuse me of this. She'd mentioned you were storing the flower. I figured it was the best way to keep watch over it, make sure I got paid. So we put it in my shed near the tower. I went to check on it this morning and nothing, all gone. You didn't see anyone lurking nearby, or anything suspicious? You don't think I would have mentioned that by now? I can only tell you that I did not steal that flower. I wouldn't do that to Teresa, or to myself. The only strange thing was that nothing else was stolen. My buckwheat, my beets, untouched. Whoever it was only wanted the flower. Interesting. Mind if I go check out the shed? Maybe it just needs to be looked at with a fresh pair of eyes. Knock yourself out. Help us end this madness, please. Doors unlocked. Somebody must have had keys. Ugh. 
Most of the supplies are untouched. They knew exactly what they were looking for. Nothing's broken. Someone was very familiar with this place. Footprints, one set of shoes. Thief worked alone. trail on the ground. Bags dragged this way. <laughs> trail ends here. Who had the keys to the shed? Me and my husband. But he's dead. Nobody else? You're sure? There's no sign of forced entry, Anna. Whoever took the flower had the keys. Or made copies. So you do think it was me? Calm down and think. Who else would do this? And why? Help me help you. Unless Teresa's right after all. Hard to tell. Someone from the bazaar, perhaps? There's Dodger. That guy's capable of anything. And then there's Benny, Teresa's son. And that's all I can come up with. Can you tell me where you were the night the flower was stolen? Morning, my husband. That night, 
Like every night since I lost him. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sure you are. Let's get this over with. Why would this Dodger character steal the flower? Haven't a clue. Other than it's just the kind of thing I'd expect from a shady guy like him. His kind never dirty their hands with real work. They just sit there, living large of others' misfortune. But I... I... Anna, hey. Got carried away. Sorry. I only just lost my husband, and it still hits me at random times. <clears throat> Sorry. Where was I? Oh, right. So, Dodger kept asking Teresa about her harvest, her, her grain, how much, etc. I, I didn't think much of it at the time. I try not to pay attention to scum like that. If you want to talk to him, you'll find him at the bazaar. But watch your back. He doesn't give a rat's ass about people. Only money. What about Teresa's son? Why would he do this? Normally, I wouldn't suspect him. Nice kid. I've known him all his life. He's like a son to me. But lately, he's been quiet. Like he's got something to hide. And maybe he does. But no, Benny wouldn't have done this. It would break Teresa's heart, and he knows it. And even if he had taken the flower, why? That seems to be the central question for everyone involved. Where can I find Benny? Not sure. He's been making himself pretty scarce. That said, I'm sure Teresa's got him guarding their storehouses. Make sure what meager goods they have left are safe. I'll look for him. Accusations are devastating enough around here. I'm ruined. And not if we find the flower and prove it was someone else. Perhaps. But in my experience, the damage has been done. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see what I can find out. At least you believe me. Thank you for that. Drenched in this weather. Hey, stop staring at me. Hands <coughs> me. What I'm doing. Essence of survival. piece of advice. The next time you offer someone water, ask if they're thirsty first. What's your problem? My problem is a whole tank of agua fresca that nobody wants to buy anymore. 
Just want to ask you a few questions. Are you shitting me? Do I look like an information booth? I've got a business to run here. You don't have business? Then get out of my face. Quit barking and listen. And if I don't? Then you won't find out that Teresa's flower is gone. What the fuck are you talking about? You know where Benny might be? Do I look like his mother? Believe me, he's on top of my where are they now list. He went down in flames in our last card game. He almost literally bet the farm. And lost. So if you're looking for that flower, it's not Teresa's or Benny's no more. It's mine. The kid owed it to me. And if it's missing, it was stolen from me. Aha. Uh -huh. So Benny's in your debt. Big time. Up to his ears, you might say. In flower. You think he stole it? Could be. He's a dumb kid who might think that will stop me from trying to collect. I need to find him then. Ask Mother Teresa. She's usually got the boy on a short leash. Like, except for poker nights, clearly. What do you know about a woman named Anna? What, the one who works for Teresa? Not all that much. I used to play cards with her husband before he, you know, beat it. He never said boo about her. Not even a few pints in. That says something right there. So now you know I have the most skin in this game. If that flower isn't found, I am the big loser. So maybe check out Teresa's storehouses. Hmm, seems like just the place a dumb kid like Benny would think he could hide. And if you do get your hands on the flower, just kindly bring it straight to me. I'll pay you handsomely for the service, of course. But it will save everyone a lot of grief, and... Hey, I get my flower. We can put this behind us. It's nice to see everything grow. Yeah. 
my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. Good seeing you. Oh, 
Bomb. Doesn't look safe. Maybe there's another way. Finished yet. It looks finished. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Today, Sarah has a story to share with us. Sarah, please Hi, begin. Huh? Then, then I got here in 2024. I was young. <clears throat> All my short life. I'd lived in this little town, but eventually, like everyone else, I had to flee. And I... Uh, <laughs> we heard the Jimmy door.
Neyse kuzeye zeki depoyu araştırmaya gideyim.
haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. Oh, Please, back off. You're making me uncomfortable. Sometimes I can't sleep because of the awful sound the infected outside make. Good night, Aiden. Watch yourself, you hear? It's nice to see everything grow. I think you need to plant cucumbers. They sure like moisture. We can afford that, can't we? And what did you do? Well, the card was good for me. I'm gonna have How to should I know going, you're scammers? But it's been you couldn't have really nice more than talking to you. You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Another yeah. job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm, ballsy. Okay then. What does your hungry soul crave? You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. <laughs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. He lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password Sayonara, so he knows I sent you. Got it. Bir sonraki bölümde devam edeceğiz. Kendinize iyi bakın. Beğenmeyi, kanala abone değilseniz de abone olmayı unutmayın. Hoşçakalın.